Hello, this is the fourth and final, I think, final part of this massive snack haul. Um, we have two savory things left. We have to do our ketchup chip shootout, and then it's a bunch of sweet stuff. So I'm just gonna dive right in, but before I do, I made a grave mistake and I forgot to tell you a fun fact about Hoodie and Miss Vicky's. It was my bad, that's on me. Um, he said, I wrote the company telling them how much I loved them when I was a kid, and they sent me a voucher for two free bags. Definitely worth sharing. Can't believe I missed that. So my sincerest apologies. Um, and now it's time to dive in. These are the two brands of ketchup chips we'll be trying. Lay's and Old Dutch. I've never had either, so I'm quite excited. I think we should start with Old Dutch. Um, let's see. I threw these in for a ketchup chip shootout. These are the two that generally go head to head in the mouth of Canadians. I'd like to know what you prefer. This is a much sturdier chip with less sweetness, I find, and altogether unique ketchup flavor. These are a classic hockey arena chip. So, here we go. They smell like ketchup. What do they look like? Okay. Oops. Here we go. Obviously delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the sweetness he's talking about. Oh, less sweetness, he says. Interesting. If these are the less sweet ones, I'm very curious to try the Lay's. Because I'm definitely getting some sweetness. Okay. Here's the Lay's bag compared to Old Dutch. These are definitely like a darker red. Okay. Interesting, okay. Hmm, okay, I forgot to read the Lay's bit. He said, I'm not sure if you've ever had a ketchup chip. I have not, but I know they have infiltrated American borders by now. I have a fuzz on my face. This is a childhood favorite and still remains in a high rank on my chip list. I love the light, crispy chip and the sweet and tangy flavor. Okay, I'm shocked, to say, and I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I think I prefer the Old Dutch. Let me let me try one more, just to be sure. I need a small one. Okay. Lay's. Okay. Old Dutch. Yeah. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Got it, I think. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think I prefer the old Dutch. I don't know. I might need to marry on those for a bit longer, but I think old Dutch is the winner on that one, which is shocking to me because um, I'm a lazy girly through and through. Anyway, okay. Moving on, we have two more. <gasps> Wait. We have three. What is this effing fuzz on my face? Okay, sorry, I'm about to lose my mind over this fuzz. We have three gummy things left to try. The Maynard's Fuzzy Peach. It's speaking of fuzzy things. Sour Patch Kids, Sour Cherry Blasters. Pumped about that. And then this. We have to figure out what this is based on our snack matrix. Um, okay, fuzzy peaches. Basically the same breakdown as Swedish berries, berries, but with peach flavor and a sugary exterior. I will forever love fuzzy peaches. I love our um, peach rings that we have here, so I feel like I'm gonna like these because I love the peach rings. This says, similar to fuzzy peaches, but with a more sour slash tart mouth puckering cherry flavor. 
um, easy to get addicted to, but watch out, like a salt and vinegar chip, you risk razor tongue as the final result. Okay, we're done. And then I think these are, um, I said are, right? Dino Sours, probably my favorite gummy ever. Reds and oranges are the best of the bunch. I love the texture slash chew on these. Stiff, but not too stiff, as well as the perfect balance of sweet and sour. I'm excited about those as well. Um, and the wine gum so far, the best texture of any gummy candy I think I've ever had. So I'm excited to compare that to these. Okay, I think I'm gonna go fuzzy peaches first. Oh, those smell nice. And they smell exactly like our peach rings. Cute. Yeah. Those might even be better than peach rings. Wow. Mm. Big fan of that. Mm. Really good. Really, really yummy. Look at my t-shirt. It's like an heirs to a shirt, but with Gilmore Girls people. That's amazing, huh? And the bottom says Gilmore Girls, the heirs to her. Yeah, I know. That's amazing. Okay. Oh my gosh. Got it. I finally got it. Can you see it? Probably not. I don't know what it is, what it was, but I have vanquished the foe. That was gonna, I was gonna lose my mind over that. Okay, well, I should have brought scissors to get through this knot. Just fast forward 15 seconds. I'm sure I'll have it open by then. Come on. Oh my gosh, I'm so close. Thank goodness I don't have, um, fake nails, otherwise I would have for sure broken them off by now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. I'm losing my mind. I'm in kind of an irritated mood. You know what? We're going to come back to this. I need some time to loosen up, but I'm in an irritated mood because of this woman that I work with. I'm not going to name any names, but she, oh, here we go. She's I'm at my wit's end with her. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Anyway, how's your day going? How's your Tuesday? Hope it's going great. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Wow. Sorry I had to see that. What did he say his favorites were? Um, Red and orange. Okay, obviously, why is my nose running? Oh, these are cute. Look at these little dinosaurs. Okay, red. Mm hmm Great texture. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. The sour is nice. Here's an orange. Oh, it's terrifying. The dino sour almost took me out. I'll be okay. The orange is good though. Wow. <clears throat> you gotta chew your dino sours all the way, guys. Okay. Going with the yellow. Look how cute. This is reminding me of Land Before Time. Who watched Land Before Time? Who's the yellow guy? Mmm. Okay, might be a hot take, but I think the, the yellow might be my favorite so far. Yellow or red? And obviously we need to try the green. These are fun. Love those. Okay. Don't want to choke again. Last one going in. Mm. Green is nice as well. Honestly, I don't know if I can pick a favorite. I really like them all. Okay. 
Now, Sour Patch Kids Sour Cherry Blasters. We get in Toronto. Lots of interruptions, sorry about that. Got an Amber Alert <clears throat> for someone in Springfield. I don't live anywhere near Springfield, but that's okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, they're cute. They're little, obviously they're cute. They're little cherries. Between that and the peaches, I'm not sure which is cuter. Mm. Those are good. Very cute, very good. Wow. Okay, you sent me some good gummy candy. I don't know which gummy candy is my favorite. I have loved all of them. But I think I will say that collectively between the savory crunchy stuff and the gummy candy, um, overall, I like the gummy candy things best. Now, we have a lot of sweet things to try. Guys. You see all this? <clears throat> these are all the bars that we need to try. And then we have these. Okay, here we go. First up, Coffee Crisp. Let's read about Coffee Crisp. A bar I tend to forget I like until I hit it again. The texture isn't my favorite, but it's not the worst either. It's a little dry slash dusty as it's wafer based, but the chocolate and the mocha slash cappuccino slash sweetness level is perfectly balanced and has an adult sensibility to it. I love adult sensibility. That's what I'm going for when I'm picking out a chocolate bar adult sensibility. Will this make me feel like a sensible adult? Let's find out. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Again, he got the massive packs. Okay. Mmm. Hmm. I've never had coffee in my entire life. Hmm. So all I know of coffee is like the fake manufactured flavor and like ice cream and stuff. That's pretty decent. Um, yeah, pretty decent. Not my favorite thing in the world, but like I would eat it if someone gave me one. And this bar will not go, like I will finish this bar. But like not a, not a front runner, you know? Okay, moving on. Let's try the Mr. Big. So this is <clears throat> Mr. Big. Also in my top three bars. I love the puffed airy texture in combination with some ooey gooey chewy. Okay, yum. That's perfectly balanced in my opinion. A bar I will eat to the grave. Okay, I'm excited about this now. Mr. Big. Is this named after like Sex in the City, Mr. Big? That's what it's called, right? Yeah, Mr. Big. Okay, I already feel good about this. Just solely based, oh no. I think this broke in half unintentionally. I think the mailman broke in half. That's what it's looking like. Solely based on appearance alone, I feel like I'm gonna love this. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look how yummy that is. I wish they like had some description on it. Oh, it's from Cadbury. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm. Really, really good. Um. Wow. Mmm. 
the outside reminds me of a um, hundred grand. Wow. I don't know if I like this or a Wonder Bar better. But so far I'm with him. He said both of those were in his um, top three. Wonder Bar and Mr. Big. Wow. Mm. Love that very much. Did I spit? What do you do? Last bite. That was really good. Mm-hmm. Big fan of that. Okay. Mm. Let's do, we have a couple toffee things. Um, mm. We have three toffee things. Wait, is it also toffee? Wow. I think this guy loves toffee. Or Canada loves toffee. We have four toffee things. Wait, this isn't toffee. Okay. We have four toffee things. We're gonna start with Macintosh's creamy toffee. It says, a childhood classic, but watch out. <clears throat> These are liable to pull out adult teeth. Great. I suggest a light 20 second zap in the microwave before attempting to eat this. Okay, that's a good note. Thank you for that. Um, I care quite a lot about my um, dental health. So thank you for that heads up. I will come back to that. Moving on to the crunchy, this thing. A sponge toffee bar has always perplexed me. I like the flavor ultimately, but hate the texture. It's also insanely sweet. I can only eat a couple bites of these guys. Okay. Interesting. I'm intrigued. BV intrigued. Mm. I see what he means. Mm, yeah. Why? F for what purpose is this like this? Hmm. I have questions, comments, and concerns about that one. Hmm. Yeah, the flavor is nice, but the texture is a bit off-putting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know about that. That's disappointing, honestly. Okay. Score, which I know we have here in the States, but I've never had. One of my all-time favorite chocolate bars. It's best crushed and blended into vanilla ice cream. I always get a score blizzard at Dairy Queen. It's delicious on its own, but texturally, it is a dental emergency waiting to happen. Great. What do I do? Oh no, Sarah, what do I do? Have you guys seen that video? If you haven't, that makes no sense. You think I'm weird. Sarah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm uh fine. -huh. Everything's fine. This looks like classic toffee. Mm. Pretty good. I wish I had time to go get some ice cream right now so I could do this with it. The score, a score blizzard is not an option at our Dairy Queen, so I imagine that'd be delicious though. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. And then the last toffee bar is this Eat More Original Dark Toffee Peanut Chew. Hoodie says, absolutely hated these when they first landed on the scene. And I'm still indifferent. It's like a peanut shard laid in molasses treat. It reminds me of, <laughs> it reminds me of a poo with peanuts in it. It's not overly sweet and kind of just strange and lackluster. Seems like a bar some granola hiker would take on expeditions simply for fuel. Well, he sure has made me very excited about this endeavor. Can't wait to eat this peanutty poo. Okay. Mm. 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 Mm.
right? I can even get in here. Why is it so sticky? Okay, there we go. That's what we're, it looks cute. I'm liking the look of it, but it's very sticky. What they say? All right, okay. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Dark toffee peanut chew. Um. Okay, so I don't hate it. The flavor is nice. It reminds me of like a chocolate payday. And I'm pretty sure they just made chocolate paydays. Like I, I think that's a thing now. But this tastes like a, jar, a dark chocolate payday would taste. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Done with that. So well, we have these two. A Cadbury caramel. Is this just like caramel stuffed chocolate? I don't know why I made that face. There's nothing wrong with that. And then an after eight, which he and I had some chats about and I don't think I'm going to like, but I'm glad he stuck it in there for fun. Okay. The caramel, a very standard, simple chocolate bar, nothing life changing. They're a Halloween staple and are usually end of the pillowcase stragglers, if you will. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. This has, bar has been through a lot, so I'm just going to break off a little corner so as to not overexert it anymore. Okay. Hmm. Hopefully I don't have caramel in my face like I did in the last video. Simple. Milk chocolatey caramely. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing to write home about. But gets the job done, I guess. Once again, a fairly short ingredient list. Go Canada. Okay, after eight. Dark chocolate with mint filling. I'm not excited about this. Okay. <clears throat> there. Um, let's see. Toss it in because we talked about it. I hate mint choco everything, so you know my stance. I'm picky about my mint chocolate. I, this came about because I said that mint chocolate chip was my favorite ice cream flavor. But that doesn't mean I like mint chocolate everything. Um, this, wow, smells amazing. Smells 10 out of 10, but it, I think it's going to be like an Andy's mint, but worse. I'm scared. Yeah, immediately no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. It's definitely an Andy's mint, but worse. That's 100% what it is. But I'm gonna finish this because I'm a grown ass woman. Yeah, don't like that. No. Mm -mm. The mint is too refreshing. It tastes like toothpaste, and I'm not into it. No. If you like these, you're wrong. You're so wrong. Okay. This is our last. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's all over. This is the last thing to try. Celebration butter cookies. And I think maybe this is the flavor. Caramel truffle. I wonder if there's like other flavors of celebration butter cookies. Here we go. These are my absolute favorite biscuit slash cookies. The chocolate and the gooey interior with the rigid crumbly cookie. There are ones you pop, you just can't stop for me. I've mowed down a box in one sitting more times than I care to admit. Okay, hopefully we're ending on a high note. Did I just say that? I think I just said that. <clears throat> but I mean it. Once again, we have a nice little tray. They seem to have shifted in transit, like the luggage bags on an airplane tend to do. Oh my gosh. Why is Canadian packaging so difficult for me to open? Okay. Holy. Okay. Sorry for all of the packaging sounds. 
I'm just gonna sneak one out so as to not further disturb the piece. Okay, first of all, cute. These win for cutest thing. Oh, well, next to the dinos and the cherries and the peaches. <laughs> but this is the cutest chocolate thing. I still have toothpaste, toothpaste peppermint in my mouth. But I'm excited about these. Hang on. I should have taken a swig of water. It's like a palate cleanser. I need to read about these and there's nothing for me to read. This is what they look like on the inside. Yeah, this is what they look like on the box. So imagine this is that, okay? Mm, there we go. There's a caramel. Hmm. I'm not getting the once you pop, you can't stop sensation, but they are good. Um, I would like to try this though. Look, perfect for s'mores. Just in a marshmallow. Wow, that was so fun. It was a blast and a half. If you watched all four parts, Thank you for being here. I, I need to, I still have the, um, the, the after eight in my mouth. Let's make one final decision. Old Dutch or Lay's. Okay, Old Dutch. Lay's. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going with the Old Dutch. There's something about the ketchup. There's like some sort of note in the ketchup flavor that's swaying my decision. There's something about this that I don't quite, I don't know. It's Old Dutch for me. Big fat thank you my favorite Canadian. This was so fun. Um, hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for something else soon. I don't know.